Hi guys, this is your boy Martin from martinthevlogger.com and today we're gonna talk about 15 items that I think are the most needed for your Ken-M Riker. Actually, not I, you think. Why you? Because these are the most popular items on our shop in 2022 that you have bought. So guys, good things, bad things about them, some tips and tricks. This is what you will find out in today's episode. Now, enough of this, let's get started. So the first thing on the list, it's actually something that I even don't sell at the moment on the shop, but that demand this day and we will add it officially to our shop in the spring of 2023. At the moment, people just ask me, Martin, can you get it? Of course I can. The thing is, I'm talking about the seats. I have done around 300 kilometers on one of my four Rikers that I, when I was taking it from the shop on a stock seat. And I said to myself, never, ever again. It's just a nightmare. And uh, the thing is that I have Tour and Rental Agency, tourson3.com, which is the coolest and most badass tour and rental agency in the world, period. We have four Rikers and all of them, they do have a comfy seat because I don't want to give experience of the stock seat to, to anyone. Actually, we are working also to get F3 Limited. <laughs> shortly to our tour and rental agency so in case you would like to ride europe on three wheels tours on three.com i'm so happy my wife is not watching my videos good because she will be pissed that i want to buy another bike now the next thing which is all together with the seat and it's almost as popular as uh, changing the stock seat to a comfy seat it's the windshield uh, i don't know why well, we have one bike with the windshield here. We will add it to a second one because of the music. I will get there in, uh, in the next items. But uh, we have windshield. I have many lady customers for Rikers. And many of my customers that they come here to Bratislava, Slovakia to do the custom work, um, like custom wraps and stuff. Uh, they like, not urban, but they like countryside and they would like to have windshield. So seats. And windshield is number 15. The next thing on the list, it's something that can save you a lot of trouble. Maybe some tips and tricks here. Uh, and it took me a lot of time to, to explain to people why it is so important getting there. So this is our Dakar. And we have this, let's say, first aid kit or, or you know, service kit. It's always with me. I'm riding Dakar very, very often uh, when we are on a, on a ride uh, with guests. And... It's still not the item that I would like to talk about. This is just a tip for you. Uh, have the tire re repair kit with you. Uh, it doesn't matter that you don't know how to repair tires. There will be always somebody next to you. There will be another biker, whoever, uh, that can stop and help you to repair uh, the tire in case you will have a flat tire. Uh, I don't sell it uh, like worldwide because it contains compressed air and it cannot be, it's very hard to ship it. So it's called slime. I think it's something like 20 bucks, up to 30 bucks. Buy the more expensive version with, with those small tanks full of um, compressed air so you can refill your, your tire. I'm getting to my point. Of course, we have a first aid here. We have jump start or kickstart battery, always full charge. So it's like a power bank that you can take with you so that's what we what we carry however this is the thing i wanted to talk about it's this big ass socket uh, i don't want to really damage it uh, it's a it's a socket for your wheel now many people told me and especially customers here uh, when they when they stop on my shop and they ask me like martin what do i really need for my for my trips and i said Get this socket, it's super heavy, it's very high quality, and it's big ass, I don't know, it's size 28, 30, 40, I don't know what it is, but it's for your Riker wheels. So in case you will have a flat tire, and you would like to go to some center, to like tire repair shop, to repair it, there is a high chance they will not have this big ass socket. Ah. Uh, so my advice is get one and be ready because many people tell me, Martin, uh, I will never change the tires on my own. I don't need this socket. It's not about that. 
it's about being ready on the road. So always when I'm riding with the Riker on my journeys, we have one socket with us so I can help other, other Riker riders or I can help my guests or myself. As for the next item, we need to go here. We need to go to our Mrs. Beats, so the most dancing Riker that we have, and most probably you know where I'm, where I'm heading to. So a lot of questions and very big demands on these boss speakers. I mean, music and lights, that's something that is very like, uh, significant uh, for Riker riders. Uh, this this is the boss speaker system we have it on the shop. I think at the moment we are sold out and we are working on restock for the spring of 23. Uh, it's very good system. I have honest review on my shop. Uh, what is the difference between the, the original BRP and this one? The look is much different. And uh, also it's a fraction of the cost and they play very, very well. How well? Basically, most of the riders on, uh, on the Rikers they ride around 100 kilometers, 110, max 120 kilometers an hour in average, which is 60 to 80 miles. And this is where the bus speakers are still working very, very well, even without windshield and in a fully, fully closed uh, full face helmet, uh, you can still hit them very well. We will add windshield here to give a better experience to our guests in our tour and rental agency tourism3.com but that's a different story so uh number 13 boss speaker system now apart from music and lights what it's very significant about the riker riders riker owners it's to making the rides unique i fell in love with this it's just it's just amazing you know i'm proud how my bikes look and every single Riker owner is proud how his Riker look. Trust me, it's tiny, tiny bit different with Spider Riders. I don't know why. Of course, the beast is the beast, but it's tiny bit different. So uh, we are focusing, by the way, I think, yeah. Uh, we are focusing on the high quality wraps. I don't want to say they are super big seller because we are focusing on very high quality very unique, we custom built wraps, and they're a little bit more expensive. But our advantage is that we can cover the full bike, so exhaust, about the CVT, we can even cover the max mount. Uh, so that's the thing. But however, what I wanted to talk about, it's making the bikes unique for a little bit reasonable, more reasonable money. Uh, it's these tough skin products. So we have these high quality, what are they? There are wraps? No, they are like stickers or decals, I would say. So dashboard is very popular. We have it in different colors. Uh, around the, the key, it's very popular where it is. It's here. And you know what? Come with me. I'll show it to you like how it is in our shop. Hopefully my mic will be still working. This is sneak peek to my shop. A lot of mess. A lot of mess. By the way, look. This is really uh, not common to have this Canin Kenda tire. One of the last set I know that is available in the world. Different story. So uh, we have here the Tough Skin products and Tough Skin products, what they're specializing on, it's this uh, carbon fiber. They are really using real carbon fiber. There are thin slices of real carbon fiber. They put 3M uh, stick uh, on the other side, so it will, you know, remain on your bike for a very long time. And we have it in different colors. This is very popular. I'll show it to you on my bike as well. Uh, we have it on all uh, the reflector kit for your fender. Those that are on the on the Rikers originally, they are just terrible. And I think we are only. Hmm. I even like. I don't know if there is any, any other shop that has it printed already and ready on the shelf because tough skin what they are doing they're usually uh, how it is like uh, you order them they will make it and uh, then they will ship it to you so whatever is on martinthevlogger.com shop we have it on the shelf and we are ready to ship it right away now ebc brake pads they have called attention this year only 
Uh, most probably because those bikes, like 2018, 19, 20 Rikers, their brake pads are at the end of the lifespan. And um, so uh, why EBC? Because the price to performance, it's, it's great, I believe. Uh, they give you a little bit more performance uh, and more durability. Uh, when to change brake pads? I mean, it's the winter time, so the best what you can do is check on your brake pads. Uh, always, usually the, the lifespan is like twice you will change the front, once you will change the back. Uh, and it really depends what type of rider you are, what type of roads you take. Because on the, let's say, uh, especially with the Rikers, you know, when you go around the corner, the bike fights with you. That's what Nanny allows you to do. And then, you know, it starts to break. When, when you go crazy around the corner, the Nanny steps in and it starts to break one wheel or the other. And of course, your brake pads are suffering. So check your brake pads. And in case you want, martindevlogger.com slash shop. In the section, surprisingly, brakes and brake pads and brake pedals. Now we are getting to top 10 and it's again a service item, uh, but it's very popular, uh, especially ever since I started to say it in my installation videos, that, because I'm using it. Uh, those are the push pin removal tools and they come with uh, 20 extra push pins. Now, especially Riker, everything, like most of the items or most of the installation will require some or many of push pin removals. And, uh, I don't want to talk a lot about push pin removal tools, but which one I prefer the most? In 80% cases, I'm using this one. And it's great because, uh, of course, you can still use the screwdriver. It's not a problem, but it has this type of shape. And in many, many cases, it's very helpful. Plus, one of the biggest help for me is that I can basically push the bloody push pins back with this uh, tool so I don't have to twist my my thumb that I was suffering a lot of you know pain uh, through those installations through many installations and in 20% of the cases I'm happy to have these but if I have to choose between these two I will go for this one. k and air filters finally people do get it uh, these type of filters are not about gaining performance no if you want to give a boost to your Riker you need to have air intake. You can find that on martindevlogger.com slash shop in oil and air filters. You can put a mushroom kit on your engine side or CVT side and that will boost the performance. These kits, these kind of Canon air filters, it will prevent you from not losing performance through the hot summer days because they will allow, uh, they will allow your Riker to breathe more through the hot, those hot summer days, so the bike will not lose the performance. That's the, that's the story. You have two sides, you have CVT and engine side, change it on both sides. Don't ask questions, just do it. And uh, actually there is a economical sense behind because one k filter can last almost forever, nothing lasts forever, but on the beast, on my Spider F3S, I have it ever since 2016 and it's still in awesome shape. And so these kits uh, can last forever and they cost as uh, not even two stock paper filters. So one KN filter costs less than two stock air filters. So on the third one, third change, you're already saving a lot of money. So yeah, two KN filters on your Riker, number nine. And number eight, and I think it would be in top three, uh, in case we will start to sell it at the beginning of the season. Actually, we have introduced it only two weeks ago, or three, and we are sold out for the third time already. This is the very last one I'm holding. Uh, it's a minimalistic gear extension um, for your Riker. And uh, why it is so popular? Actually, I'm, I'm riding with a jockey shifter, and, and, and I love jockey shifters. I will be not lying to you. I will, I will keep the jockey shifters on all of my Rikers that I have for Tour and Rental Agency. Yes, we have jockey shifters on every single Riker we rent because I'm doing business a different way, and we have thrown in a lot of money to our Rikers. But we are the most badass Tour and Rental Agency in the world. Anyway, back to the, the topic. So why they are very popular 
it's because they are minimalistic. So not everybody likes the look and the big jockey shifter on the Riker. Two, they are half of the price. Three, you can install them in uh, two minutes. Uh, there is one disadvantage, I would say, uh, that the jockey shifter itself, it's very, like, very easy to, to go forwards and go backwards. With this one, because it's minimalistic, it's smaller, the, the physics works in the way that it's slightly bit more harder to, to push and pull, all right? I don't want to say impossible, that's not what I'm trying to say. It's a little bit harder. And um, also what we did, because we are listening to our customers, we have now the lever with a fix. Uh, we have now the minimalistic reverse, blah, blah, lever with a, with a as, as fix, so it's not rotating. And we have also one, unfortunately, I'm sold out, but the one when, when you pull it, it always rotates, okay? So it adjusts to your angle and you can, you know, you can, I did a video about it. So have a look at that one. So we have two options. One is with the fixed lever. The other one is with always rotating lever. Whatever you like is your call. Next one on the list. It's so undervalued item and I love it so much. Um, basically, do you see that I'm, most of the items that I'm, not most, like almost all of them that I'm telling you on the list that are on the list I'm personally using because I do believe in items that I do sell. What's the point of not riding with those items that you try to tell to people to buy if you don't personally believe in them, right? So I'm riding with this brake light as well. And it's one of the reason, by the way, in case you see it's, it's flashing, like flashing from left to the right, it's because of GoPro, it should not. In reality, it's, it's a clear light basically. Uh, this thing, it's such a big help especially for Riker riders and become very, very popular in occasions when people see me riding. So it's very popular when I'm having tours and there are owners coming here. On every single tour, we have sold several of them because people see me how visible I am at front, how visible I am in the rainy conditions. And especially on the Rikers, your rear light are so low that in the traffic, they are almost not visible. And this thing, it's app free. It can recognize. So you don't have to turn on any mobile on or click on app. It, it has gyroscopes inside. So it's completely like self-standing, self-operating thing. When I charge it on a Thursday night and I go for a ride for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, on Sunday when I come back home to the garage, it's still working and I'm riding a lot, all right? And uh, if you brake with the engine, and if you brake with the real brake, it has different in intensity to show. And when there is an emergency brake, it's like this. So really very popular item, very undervalued, but for me, one of the must have things. So this was number seven. The next uh, thing on the list, it's again an item that I think it would be much higher if we would start to sell it uh, earlier in the, in the season. Uh, it's the, the damper, the steering damper. Uh, I have it on two bikes and it will go on all four. I'm just doing a series of tests to, to moving the damper a little bit closer. So, well, I told you a lot about it in my videos, like honest review. I don't want to mess honest review and installation with this kind of top 15 items. But what it does, you know when you go through the pothole or you go through the, through the city and the roads are not a, in a really good quality. The Riker gives you a lot of, let's call it feedback, a lot of shakiness and vibrations to your, to your, to your handlebars. With that, it's gone. It's a complete game changer. The ride, it's very, very, very smooth. So uh, it has click system, so you can set up the intensity. And as I said, uh, I will be playing around through the winter time to set it up even to more soft, but I told you more in my 
in my honors video. So this was number six. Number five, I have to show you on my spider. And those are actually the leather-like grips or foam grips. Surprise, surprise, I'm sold out, but they're on the way. Next week they are here. Uh, this is absolutely, I'm, I'm, I will prepare for you a video about uh, the top 15 items for Spider F3 and for RT. And there are like, I think they will be on, on position two or three or something. They are very, very popular. And not only because they are like making the, the, the grips a little bit bigger, you know, but also they remove a lot of vibration. The foam grips are a little bit like, you can squeeze them a little bit more. The leather light -like grips, they will stay a little bit bigger, but they are very high quality, especially the leather light -like grips, like, I don't know, 2000 kilometers, 1000 kilometers, I don't know. Like there is nothing in there. Uh, the foam grips I recommend to buy pair as they may be not as good at the end of the riding season. Depends how many kilometers you do. If you do 15,000 kilometers, I would buy uh, a pair and they remove a lot of vibrations. So that's a great thing about them. Plus, you know, they, they make your uh, grips a little bit bigger. Oh geez, I could stay with the beast. Uh, next thing on the list is um, the pedal box. Now pedal box, it's something I have on my spider, on the beast, but I do not have it on any of my Rikers. However, it's a good seller or many people likes it. Why I don't have it? Because I have number one selling item. Uh, I will get there. And the difference between pedal box and what it does, EQ Flash and number one selling item on today's list, I have made a video about. And in case you cannot find it on YouTube, go to the link to this post or always you can find new things that I'm working on on martinthevlogger.com and there are all of the related videos to this episode, all of the reviews, honest reviews about every product that I have mentioned, all of the installation, everything, all right? Now, pedal box, what it is very quickly, your, and it doesn't matter if it is Spider or Riker, you, we do not have cables anymore that connects your basic engine with a, with a throttle. And, um, and the thing is that there is, uh, as the signal, it's not, like 100% strong. So when the cable was there and you pull the trigger, it was immediate reaction. Now, the Nanny or BRP, uh, it's making your throttle less sharp. So there is a delay, there is a gap. And then the gap can be around 60% of the maximum power at any given moment. So you, you hit the, uh, the throttle and the bike thinks, okay, what shall I do now? Maybe he would like to accelerate and starts to accelerate, kind of. With the pedal box, your Riker can accelerate like instantly. How sharp it is? It can be as 94.99% sharp. So it's like 94.99 like you have a real cable connected to your engine. That's how good it is. And that is why it is number four as a selling item on our shop. No, it's not the same as if you will hit the throttle faster because it has nothing to do with your wrist. It's about software, it's about logic, and it has nothing to do how fast you can rotate your wrist. You really need a pedal box or a number one selling item. Now we are getting to top three and on third place, it's everything about handling. And you can call it as, a, as our bundle, handling box, or if it's just the sway bar, just the springs, just the shocks, doesn't really matter. They sell equally and they are a big mover. So what I'm, what I'm talking here about, uh, I told you, springs. We have it separately for 600 and 900 rally, uh, Rikers. We have it for rallies, different models for sport. And they are professional high performance from, from H&R from Germany where the certificates of safety and road regulation certificates. So uh, I don't think anybody else really do sells them. I use them in my tour and rental agency. Like how cool is that to have upgraded shocks with a 
with the high performance springs. Uh, and they are a big difference. I have sway bars from Baharon. They are like this, with a little bit of cheating on, uh, on the links. <laughs> Uh, and I have full H&R sway bar that is on Dakar. And uh, you can have it as I told you. As a bundle box, you can go multi to multi.vlogger.com slash shop, go to the Riker section and there are sales and bundles for better prices. And we have also shocks from Wilbur's from Germany. I know in America, people like Elka, but what I love about Wilbur's is that it's just, there are no categories, nothing like stage one, stage two, no, there's just Wilbur's. And uh, we have it with the reservoir. Uh, and how cool is to have, where it is, it's from this side. How is cool is to have a professional rear shock, because the, the, the stock one is just terrible. Uh, rear shock on a tour and rental agency bikes. How, it's insane. It's insane, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that my bikes are better than, than your at home. Don't believe me? Come here and test. Tourson3.com. On number two, I don't even have to comment a lot. Big sale thing, uh, very, very popular. Warning lights. Don't ask me how and why and what is the... Bikes, rikers don't come with the warning lights, so Yep, we have them, uh, very popular item, plug and play solution. Why it is OM looking? Because it's OM. Yep, Martin of the Vlogger has them. I'm pretty sure you didn't know that BRP is having OM solution. No, it's not available, but Martin the Vlogger has it. So what is number one on our shop? And it's because my shop is the largest European shop for Canem Spider and Riker aftermarket parts in Europe. And of course I ship worldwide, but this thing, pedal, uh, pedal, Dynajet uh, PV3 and the option that it's called power limitation unlock, it's super popular in Europe. Why? Well, all our Rikers, they are different than the US Rikers because they are locked, especially, not especially, 900 Rikers, Sport, Rally, basic 900, they're locked because of the bloody EU emissions. So what it means, up to 80 kilometers an hour, which is something like 45, 50 miles, our bikes are just lazy. You hit it and they don't go. And you can, if not even pedal box can help with that. However, Dynojet PV3, we can unblock in most of the cases. I cannot guarantee you that every single Riker can, can be unblocked because it's, it's a mystery. Uh, and a little bit about the, the EQ that the Canon puts in, into every Riker. But most of the Rikers we can unblock. And then we can have as good Riker as people or riders in the US without any EU limitation and, and so on. Plus, that thing can then react a little bit like pedal box in case you top it up, not only with the power limitation unlock, but in case you top it up with our custom performance map, so we will, we will do many things. And all of this was said in that video that I told you when I was talking about Pedalbox. So comparison between Pedalbox, EcoFlash, and Dynajet. Uh, yes, of course I have it on all four Rikers in my tour and rental agency. And how I do avoid that some riders will not kill themselves or avoid them killing themselves with a too much power. Of course, we have EQ mode that has even less power than the normal Riker. Guys, this was pretty much it. This was the, the look on the top 15 items that we have on martinthevlogger.com slash shop as the best sellers uh, because of you guys, my customers. And also what I wanted to say by this video, big thank you, big thank you for me working more, uh, me growing, because now we have over 375 items on the shop. And we did this from 30 items in two years. Of course, we have rebuilt completely our experience on online shop. So we have new logic on, on categories. So visit martindevlogger.com shop. So many promotions, I know. Uh, and guys, 
visit Tour Zone 3. In uh, 2023, we are going to Montenegro. So whoever wants, I still have a couple of uh, Rikers left. We're going to Grossglockner. I'm promoting that tour a lot. It's official BRP tour. And we'll do uh, Slovakia together. So let's ride Slovakia together in August. Guys, tourson3.com, martindevlogger.com slash shop. Martin the Vlogger is the coolest vlog on the planet. I'm out. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, survive winter and always have fun.